I'm Michael Gordon, and this is my wife, Lori, and we live in Owasso, and in April, we will be married 25 years. Um, we were involved in our church at the time. We were in a group of about six or seven college and career age individuals, but Lori was unique in that she understood every aspect of football. So she made it fun to go home after church on Sunday and sit on the couch, um, eat lunch, and yet watch football without interrupting everyone with, what does this mean? So she was a lot of fun to, to watch football with. Um, I thought we had hung out so much as friends that I thought if he just ever asked me out one time, I'll marry him. Because it had been over a year that we were just friends, and we had such a strong foundation to build off of so <laughs> I've tried to cook hamburger helper for her but she every single time will say no no never never Lori has been good to remind us that the 26th of every month is our month anniversary. 24 and three quarters of a year, uh, years, we always know that April 26th is our anniversary. At least I do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our favorite thing, we still like to sit on the couch and we will watch football or watch movies. Now we fall asleep a lot more often than what we did 25 years ago. Our kids make fun of us for that. But we also enjoy playing card games, and um, someone likes to win more than others, but that's De part of our family. Definitely games. We're all competitive, and why play? Why even bother if you don't play to win? When I first started staying home, we had just had Macy, and we chose for me to stay home. Our income was cut by more than half, and at that point, I had to learn to rely on God and lean into him more so rather than looking to Michael as my source and yes he was working and God was blessing us and God took care of us but it was like we needed a miracle every month just to pay our bills and so one of my friends once told me God will always take care of me regardless of what goes on with my husband and that that just has marked my life and no matter what we do, we still look to God as our source, and He can do above and beyond what we ever dreamed possible. There's a lot of things that we want Jesus to do for us. We want Him to forgive us. We want Him to be gracious to us. We want Him to give us wisdom and direction as a father, as a husband. It's just a matter of walking those things out and recognizing that the very things that I want from the Lord he is also calling me to impart and to give out into my family. Um, to take that leadership role, to, to again, just walk it out every single day, uh, just recognizing those things that Jesus has done for me, He is now expecting me to impart around me. Well, the best piece of advice that I feel like we got was on our video wedding video, and it was a friend um, who said, keep Jesus at the center of everything you do and everything will be all right. And when you think about your living to please God, it takes a lot of pressure off the other person. And like Michael was saying before, you can extend forgiveness, you can extend grace because so much has been given to you. Um, and another thing is you're on the same team. So if you want to win, you need to win together. I would say that our choices matter. The choices that I make impact every person in my family. Just keeping that perspective of our choices do make a difference in generations to come. So we want those choices that we make to be life. And if they're not life, they're, they're death. So everything that you do, choose life. Marriage is more than I expected it to be because what I grew up seeing is a lot different than what we're living out. God has had put specific people in my life to give me a vision for what marriage could be and should be. And I was invited into one family in particular, but I got to see how a wife should be treated, 
and how as a wife you should be treating your husband and that was so impactful and because of that it's way better than I ever dreamed it could be. I guess I didn't imagine a lot of what marriage was going to be before getting married but it all comes back to we are owning the choices that we make and we are walking in the benefit of those choices. So um, it's great. Marriage is great. I, but it's also work. We're, we're working for every single aspect of it, trying to be obedient to the things that the Lord puts in our hearts to do and to be. And it still requires effort.